The Enchanted Ball, a night of elegance. In the heart of the Enchanted Forest, a magnificent ball was being held at the Crystal Palace, a sparkling venue that shimmered under the moonlight. The forest buzzed with excitement as Disney princesses from various kingdoms received their invitations, each promising a night of magic, elegance, and unforgettable memories. Cinderella was the first to arrive. Ariel followed, her gown inspired by the beauty of the ocean. Belle entered next, her gown a nod to her, love of books, and the enchanting rose from her story. Rapunzel was a vision in a gown that blended her love for art and nature. Mulan arrived wearing a gown that honored her warrior spirit and heritage. Tiana walked in, her gown inspired by the vibrant culture of New Orleans. Elsa made her entrance, looking like a queen of winter in her ice blue gown. As the princesses, hair mingled and danced, the air was filled with laughter, music, and the soft glow of magic. Each gown told a story, reflecting the unique personality and journey of its wearer. The night was truly enchanting, a celebration of beauty, grace, and the magic that comes from being true to oneself. The enchanted ball would be remembered for years to come, not just for the beauty of the gowns, but for the friendships that blossomed and the joy that filled the air. Each princess left, the ball with a heart full of memories, knowing that no matter where their paths might lead, the magic of that night would stay with them forever. Tinker Bell and the Sweet Monster's Song Tinker Bell fluttered through the woods, drawn by a sweet, oh melodic tower, hum she had I never heard before. The, the sound led her to a hidden clearing near. filled with glowing with flowers and shimmering dewdrops. In the center we'll sat a round, fluffy creature, so M, with fur as soft as cotton candy and eyes that sparkled like stars. The creature, humming a gentle tune, stopped when it noticed Tinker Bell and smiled warmly. Hello, little fairy, the monster greeted in a voice as sweet as honey. I am Mallow, the sweet monster. I live here, hidden away in the woods, creating music from the magic of the flowers and trees. Tinker Bell, her curiosity piqued, smiled back. Hello, Mallow. I've never heard such beautiful music before. How do you do it? Mallow's eyes twinkled with delight. It's a gift I've had since I was born. The magic of nature speaks to me, and I turn it into music. But sometimes I get lonely. Would you like to spend the day with me, Tinker Bell? Tinker Bell nodded eagerly. I'd love to. Maybe we can create something together. The two new friends spent the day in the clearing gathering melodies from the rustling leaves, the bubbling streams, and the whispering wind. Tinker Bell added her own sounds to the mix, and together they created a song so enchanting that it made the flowers bloom, brighter, and the trees sway with joy. As the sun began to set, their song filled, the clearing with soft, harmonious music. The sky above them seemed to listen, and the first stars of the night twinkled in rhythm with the melody.
Mallow sighed happily. Thank you, Tinkerbell. This has been the most magical day I've ever had. Tinkerbell smiled warmly. And I've made a wonderful new friend. Whenever you feel lonely, just hum our song and I'll come visit you. With a final hug, Tinkerbell bid Mallow farewell and flew back to Pixie Hollow, her heart light and her mind filled with the sweet memory of the day. Whenever the fairies of Pixie Hollow heard a soft hum of the sweet monster's song in the distance, they knew that Tinkerbell and Mallow were creating magic together, their friendship as sweet and enduring as the music they made.